To remove the left side storage matrix assembly, first we need to unlock the storage matrix. Grasp the matrix at the indentation on the front cover below the key lock. Carefully slide the matrix out from the front of the RLS until it stops. There's a built-in handle on the top of the matrix that needs to be turned 90 degrees so the handle points up. Once the handle is in the up position, you will be able to fully remove the matrix from the RLS. Please note that the storage matrix may be heavy if loaded full of tapes. To remove the right side storage matrix assembly, first you need to unlock the storage matrix. Grasp the matrix at the indentation on the front cover below the key lock. Carefully slide the matrix out from the front of the RLS until it stops. There is a built-in handle on the top of the matrix that needs to be turned 90 degrees so that the handle points up. Once the handle is in the up position, you will be able to fully remove the matrix from the RLS. Please note that the storage matrix may be heavy if loaded full of tapes. The blank matrix assembly is secured to the RLS with two screws, which can be reached by inserting a number two screwdriver through the opening that is created when the left storage matrix assembly is removed. The screws are located on the top and bottom tabs of the blank storage matrix assembly. This module explains how to remove and install the user interface panel assembly. As you can see, there are only four screws on the RLS that secure the user interface panel assembly. Using a number two Phillips screwdriver, you will need to remove the two screws along the top and the two screws along the bottom. Please note that the screw securing the sheet metal cable guard on the bottom left side is longer than the other three screws. When removing the user interface panel assembly cable, you will need to press down on the release tab and carefully disconnect. When replacing the user interface panel assembly, you will want to align the guide pin on the bottom of the assembly with the corresponding hole in the frame of the library. Using a number two Phillips screwdriver, you will want to first install the two screws along the top of the user interface assembly. Then, replace the bottom right screw. Once the three screws have been installed, you want to press down on the release tab of the RLS connector and carefully reconnect the user interface panel assembly cable. Replace the metal sheet cable guard on the RLS, making sure the tab is in the slot. Secure the guard using the number two screwdriver.